Welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am she, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. So, Cancers, I'm here off the cuff. I was pulling some cards off camera and I was getting a really, really good message. So, I was like, hold on, hold on. Um, and, and it was actually for Cancer, but uh, I was having some trouble with my camera. Um, but I went ahead and did the reading anyway just to see what came out and then I was like, yeah, all right This needs to be shared with someone because it feels like Cancer you've either just moved or you're about to move you're about to there's about to be some type of opportunity coming your way it could be definitely unexpected so with the um, and so yeah, I'm gonna like edit the screenshot of the cards that I pulled so y'all can see it so yeah follow along with me okay <laughs> so you guys the this there's some type of contract business situation job offer job opportunity um that's coming your way now but before this happens or before this happened however it resonates because you know we're all on different timelines y'all but you may have definitely gone through or going through some like great reckoning changes the tower came out first y'all significant life changes are happening right <laughs> you're significantly changing you're having revelations about yourself what it is that you desire for yourself all that is kind of kind of working um and i feel like it's pushed you to find your life purpose or there's something creatively that you've been thinking about working on and y'all this opportunity could be tied to that so because we had that spirit mentors and teacher energy. So, y'all, you could be into science, math, music, writing, whatever. Um, call on. I feel like there's some type of project you're working on or you're doing something in regards to this um, talent of yours, you guys. But you have spirit mentors. Like, you have a spiritual team that's, like, behind you rooting for you guiding you into making this successful right so some of you your spiritual mentor your spiritual teacher your god that's resonating with you um in regards to whatever this project is that you're working on because i feel like something something significantly changed in your life it was a shake up and now you know, you may be leaning towards doing something else that you're more passionate about. And there may be someone that you even look up to um, that you do that does the same thing that you do. Or they may have been like passed on, you know, like there. But their spirit is with you as you're doing, as you're carrying out this creative project. Y'all, this may definitely only be for one person. It may resonate for only one person. But I was like, I'm going to put the message out. So, yeah. But you're you're resonating with the energy of this um, this talent guy, this guy that is um, helping you make decisions. It's like open yourself up to your intuition. You're not. It's not coming out of nowhere, y'all. I promise you. You may you may be feeling like you're making stuff up. Like you may, I literally, I know you may feel like you're making stuff up in your head. It's like, how did I come up with this? Or no, you're being guided. You're being guided for sure. It's not, it's not fiction. <laughs> you are not making it up. You're being guided. So much so you could definitely be being guided to take some sort of trip. You could have some type of business trip already lined up. Um, this could be a short, a short trip. This could be a change in like residents, like you could be moving. This could be a long business trip, however, but you about to be moving. So just, yeah, go ahead and pack your bags up. <laughs> pack your bags up because you, you moving, you moving to bigger and better things, okay? It's like um, moving on up to the big house. Yeah, that's the energy that's coming with this, y'all. And I'm telling you, you're being guided. So don't, if you feel like, you know, right now you want to change locations, you're trying to move. Um, and, and it too, y'all, it could come up unexpectedly. Unexpectedly, like something could happen with your job or something just happens where you're kind of, you feel like you have to move. You're forced to move. Something could happen like that, y'all. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you because the tower came out first. So it's going to be a shakeup, okay? It's going to be a shakeup. It's going to be a little, 
a little storm, you know, it's going to be a change for sure. But um, I'm telling you, go where you got it. Go where you got it. If you just made a move, if you've just, um, you know, made plans to travel or something like that, definitely um, I feel that something's going to happen where you get inspired. Something is just like a new energy for you. And you get this new inspiration, and it's going to be very, 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 very lucrative for you, okay? Very lucrative. Someone's buying a new home somewhere else. Someone is definitely buying a new home um, somewhere else. Or you could be buying, like, a new car somewhere else. But, you guys, um, I feel like you get to a point of... Because, okay, Cancer, right now you could be really, really sad. I'm going to be honest. Right now you could be really, really sad or kind of disappointed, uh, kind of just in your feelings. You could feel like things are really, really challenging. But you're going through this kind of learning process, this awakening, this awakening period between which your talent guide um, and then your life changing, Cancer. So it's just personal growth. It's growing pains. Okay, that's that's what's going on right now. It's growing pains, but know that you're about to be able to see something from a different perspective. You're getting clued in on deeper wisdom, y'all. I'm telling you, so it's like your your third eye could be opening. Your you definitely have um, access to like deeper spiritual knowledge. I feel like you're able to resonate and connect with this message a little bit deeper now because of what you're going through. You're seeing things from a whole different outlook, a new light, like new lenses, new eyes on it, okay? So you're able to kind of shape shift and, and move forward. Like I said, you're moving on up, but you move to the place where you express gratitude, like where, you know, you may be sad, like I said, but just take it as growing pains, cancer. Take it as growing pains and know that, um, these, this isn't, this isn't what it looks like. Okay. This isn't what it looks like. This change, this transformation, the tower, it's just that your time is up wherever you are, or your time is up on whatever it, it was that you were trying to, um, create that way. It's like you have more help. You have a new outlook, a new inspiration, and it's going to be very, very lucrative for you. But I feel like you're going to have to move, not necessarily like move your residence if that doesn't resonate for you. There may be some type of travel that you're about to do, or you're going to be guided. I'm just going to, you're going to be guided to go somewhere, go, because you're going to get some different type of inspiration cancer to be able to move forward with your talent. Okay, so when I say pack your bags, pack your bags. Okay, this one, I don't be telling people what to do, but I'm going to say go. I'm going to say go or <laughs> like if you already have business plans or travel plans or whatever, pay attention while you're traveling. It's like and ask your angel, your, your spirit guides to like take care of your travel plans and show you what it is that's supposed to inspire you. Okay. They're, they're here waiting, willing to open up this like whole new book of knowledge to you basically. Okay. But you come out of this. Um, I feel like you find a little bit of stability with your, um, with your feelings and, you know, you start expressing gratitude. Maybe you listen to my, to one of my readings where I preach gratitude for y'all. Okay. So, and look, I know right now your money could be funny. Um, but do know and I feel like you're you're getting a little sense of this too, because this is why your money got funny. You're having to look at money a different way. There was something, there was some type of relationship that you had or thought about money that needed to kind of be purged or reconsidered. However, um, and but know that money money is not the highest pursuit. I know that money is definitely. Um, useful um you know money can do a lot i will never talk bad about money money is this uh, uh energy y'all it's, it's it's when it's used in the right way in the way that it's supposed to be used it's a really good it's a really great tool but it's not the bit it's not the best thing so y'all see with this soulful appreciation card this butterfly there are other things that are, are valuable. This butterfly is outweighing all these coins. You would think that all this money, all this gold in the world would satisfy you, but no. There are things um, that are more precious than that. And I feel that you kind of you're you get humbled 
because you've gone through this kind of financial, the five of pentacles that showed up around this time, y'all. So I feel like you kind of get humble. Um, not necessarily saying that you lack or you're without, but you go through humble beginnings. But um, baby, I'm telling you, that's about to change. We got the king of pentacles energy that came out, y'all. I had to pick up this card, yeah, because it's like as soon as you express that gratitude, thankful for where you've been. Like, you really got to sit back and think about where you came from. The problems that you were thinking about however long ago, how they're not even a factor right now because you got di a different set of problems, y'all. That's just like what life is. It's a series of challenges. It ain't like it's going to always be good times. It's not like it's always going to be bad times, you know, but we take... We roll with the punches. There's a, there's a reason, a rhyme or reason for everything. But I definitely feel like cancer, whatever this change up, this travel for you is going to, it's like whatever you were working on, you were starting it, you were trying to create it, it's about to shoot off to the next level. You're about to be very, very accomplished, okay? This time is very, very successful. It's like you come back from wherever you are or you get settled. And it's like you really get in your bag, okay? And I'm not mad at you, okay? I'm not mad at you because you're releasing this dip, dip, difficulty. And I'm seeing this six up from the depths releasing difficulty as the six of swords. So you know how the six of swords, the water is choppy. It, you may be going through some challenges. It's the storm, the little thunderstorm. But y'all, and I've never noticed this in this transformation card. It's like remnants. I don't know if y'all can tell remnants of the rainbow already. It's just like your angel is here, right? Saying, look, the time is up here. I'm here to guide you somewhere else to your land um, where you're going to be set secure where there's stability it's your time it's your time to start new we got the dreamer there he is he guided you through this new door a new door is being open to you and it's a very lucrative one it's one where i feel that you'll be very um very happy i'm gonna say i feel like it's just a new hope i feel like you get like a new lease on life a new hope for life with the dreamer energy y'all it's time it's time for you to kind of move on it's definitely time for a new energy releasing this difficulty y'all i'm telling you the sadness that you're feeling is only because there is growing pains it's it's there's some some lesson that you're having to learn you know wisdom comes with a a price if you'll say but yeah definitely you're getting clued in so open like open your third eye open open your ability y'all you're not making it up you're not making it up. It's not just coming to your head for um, no reason. You definitely have like a, a spiritual mentor that's working with you and guiding you. An angel, like a, a guardian angel that's guiding you somewhere to like open up your eyes, inspire you to be able to push forward. So be open to whatever this travel is for you, y'all. I'm going to pull a couple of oracle cards. See, but yeah, look. Trust the process, y'all. There's a, um, you're going to a, de a destination. You're going somewhere else. Trust, trust this transformation process, this tower. There may have been some detours along the way. But, um, let's actually see. Clarify transformation for cancer. Okay, yeah, someone had to come in and help you with your limiting beliefs because you it, you may have definitely you're in this negative energy, but you have a distorted view of the situation. That's what I'm telling you, Cancer. So stop complaining. Stop the negative self-talk. Stop the self-sabotage. Stop letting outside influences get in your head about what you're doing, what type of change you want to make, what type of move you want to make. Don't let people get in your head. Do what you feel as though you can do. Don't let others put their beliefs on you. Subconsciously, there is something that you have to work out. There could be some, you know, shadow work that's definitely going on. Like I said, y'all, the personal growth. Um, but be grateful. Be grateful, y'all. Be gracious. And I know it can it can feel hard to be gracious with all that's going on in the world today. But if you're watching me right now, I know you at least got two things to be grateful for. So if you can repeat them and really, like, you can't, it ain't, all right. <laughs> you can't just be saying it 
just to say it. You know what I'm saying? Or some people say it just because they feel like they're supposed to say it. You know what I'm saying? No, you got to actually believe it too. And you can't, it's, you can't, okay. But you might can fake it till you make it at least. And I know, I know that it's hard to say to just be positive. Like, it's not that easy. I get it to just be positive, y'all. But when the thought comes, when the limited thought comes, or when the negative outfluent or negative influences come, you can acknowledge it. You know, you can even process it if you need to have some type of emotion with it. But you just don't stay there. That's the thing, y'all. That's the thing. You speak back to that negative thought. You rewire it. You take the limit off. You rewire it. You rewire with subliminal. So even y'all, it it's so deep as to like going around. If 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 you want to be something, you want to be somebody. Um, say you want to be Beyonce, whatever. Just an example, y'all. Shout out to Renaissance. I'm ready. She could have dropped it in Cancer season, but whatever. Um, anyway, so it's like say you want to be Beyonce. All right, get in your mindset. Get in your spirit, y'all. You got to get in your... See, that's the that's the key. You got to be in your spirit and really, really be thinking this. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to be Beyonce, but I'm saying if that's the, if that's the level of achievement and attainment that you want to reach, who says that you can't be? Like, who, who says? Who, like, who says? Who gets to pick and choose? Who does what? You know, who says? Not I, another human can't tell you, you know? So you need to, you need to start, but you could be the person that's fighting yourself too. So it's inner conflict that you're needing to prove your naysayers, including you wrong. So re talk to yourself. It's just like talking to consider it like your baby. It's like talking to your soul. Y'all you gotta be, all right, I ain't gonna get too deep, but yeah, let the negativity go. Y'all it's just a growing pain. It's just something, it's just something that's coming to to really progress you honestly see yeah look and say affirmations came out here at the bottom of the deck you're gonna have to speak them y'all speak them and believe them state as i am manifesting happens in the present tense so these things that you're speaking speak them for now speak them for right now in your life no matter what your life looks like right now i'm a millionaire right now right now okay believe in you see this i'm telling you whatever this change that has started ignited been ignited in your life is definitely bringing on the exciting it's expanding your gifts it's calling you to show your gifts more show you share your unique gifts there's definitely a life change that's happening with you however <laughs> it, it could definitely be the change in location or this trip or whatever that happens for you for some of you it could be other things but there's it definitely feels like there's a new path for you there's a life change that is pushing you towards more so your soul's purpose finding your soul's purpose this talent of yours um and it's really really changing and you're getting you're getting help it's almost like you're taking an exam and you got somebody giving you the answers over your shoulder but it's just it's it's a spirit, so nobody else knows. It's in your mind. So you go off of that. Like, you trust your gut and your intuition. You don't trust what people are saying, y'all. You can't. Anyway. Um, clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Finds that, ooh. Nature's timing came out, y'all. Things need to occur in the proper order when the time is right. Don't try to control this, um... This situation with this new opportunity don't try to rush it when it happens it's supposed to happen for you um but i feel like definitely some of you could already be in the decision phase like this has already kind of happened come up in your life um and you're just maybe waiting for the for the right time you have to get y'all um definitely get specific about your manifesting okay the universe can only give you what you ask for so you need to be very specific at this time so if you're getting the nudge to move to a certain place um get so specific down to the thing y'all down to the nitty-gritty really thing that you want in your apartment house wherever where you want to be however get down to the to the mind the most minute thing that you can think of y'all um but be as specific and and show how it feels and you cannot be negative when you're doing this y'all 
I'm telling you, you can't trick. Like, you can't trick it. Okay? So, you can't be negative. I'm just saying. <laughs> Tell me about the dreamer. Ooh. So, taking care of... Yeah, look, y'all. See, I feel like you start you start over and, and it's more peaceful. Definitely, you've cleared out... Some of you could even be moving out of a toxic environment. This could be like a, a job change move y'all um a classroom move or something like it could be it doesn't necessarily have to be that you're picking up and you're moving your house although i feel that for someone like you you bought a house somewhere else actually some of you are definitely getting on a plane though you're getting on a plane to travel or um i feel like you're going a distance so yeah um but yeah this this new energy the six of swords that came that I feel like came out with this release and difficulty is where you're clearing out this energy, clearing out that negativity um and taking care of your vibration yeah you, look what happiness so this new path for you, this new door that has opened for you um combine talent with your passion that's what you you start doing and you're be, you're gonna be able to live out your dreams it's like your your dream comes true in regards to how you make your money. Um, you may definitely want to have like a gratitude journal, you guys. You may definitely want to, yeah, and start writing in this gratitude journal because I'm telling you, it's like, it'll change your life. It'll change your life. Tell me, give me one more for the dreamer. Yeah, okay. And and look, so when you, when you state your manifestations, however, however you manifest, however, whichever way you manifest, y'all, there's tons of different ways, tons of different resources on it. Um, but you have to let go of the expectations. You have to believe that the best possible outcome will happen. Okay, no matter what, that's the that's the key. You're having to release that energy of holding on so tightly to a certain thing or something um, not happening. Yeah, y'all. There's heavy um, heaviness on the manifesting. So I don't know if you're trying to if someone's already trying to manifest this move. It's like maybe you're trying to change your environment. But yeah, get your heart and mind in the same place. That's why I say you can't trick it. You can't fake it. You can't have it in your mind that you can't have these things or things can't change for you. Um, but then have it in your heart that you really, really want them. Like it's you're canceling it out. You can't what you're not gonna get anywhere. Um, I'm just gonna see what comes up for this King of Pentacles. Cause I feel like, you know, you found this um this groundedness. Tell me about the King of Pentacles for Cancer. Tell me about the King of Pentacles for Cancer. Ooh. See, y'all, yes, I'm telling you, a paradigm shift. It's like, because y'all, I wish you could have seen because the Five of Pentacles came out with this King, this King of Pentacles. It's like you going from busted, you know, you could have been definitely like, okay. <laughs> It's like you could have been coming back from like, you know, you ain't, you ain't been able to get your hair and stuff done, your nails and stuff done. Like you kind of busted, you know. I'm okay. Sorry. But anyway, but you just, you know, you kind of, you, you feel like you kind of down bad, but there's about to be a paradigm shift. It's like your reality changes y'all. I'm telling you, it's like you move to the next, it's like you move up in life and you experience something new. The things that you manifest, they materialize. It's like you sit pretty. You sit pretty. You go from that lady, that five of pentacles hunched over, that body language where, yeah, I ain't got it. I don't have enough. I ain't never going to have it. Because that's the vibes you was giving in that five of pentacles, y'all. I wish I could find it. Because, yeah, I need to show y'all what y'all was giving. I need to show them. I need to show them spirit because they, they need to know. Um, give me two seconds, y'all, because I'm going to find it. Cause, honey, it's like you, like you just giving up. All right, now. Where is that now? There, there she go. It's just like, look, y'all. <laughs> 
and the five of cups one to come out with it. So yeah, y'all, it's a change. It's an end. It's an end to this challenge. These negative thoughts that you were having. Here's that same angel. Here's that same angel. Your um. Your spirit mentor. I know I was supposed to pull this five of pentacles out, y'all. Yeah, it's like you're you're hunched over. You you think this challenge is what it is. Like you just you got all the negative thoughts about it. <laughs> okay, all the negative thoughts. It nothing good can happen. You may be um you may have just become self employed too. And fear like you have some fears surrounding your money, but I'm telling you, it's like this change, this shift. That's going to happen. Definitely pack your bags and go with it, okay? Because it's going to, like, spark something to, like, change your whole reality. This is a cycle, a cycle that's ending and a new one that's beginning. And I feel like this is a cycle or a, this is um expansion, y'all. Because it's like, yeah, you may have definitely been, like, holding on to your money. Like, this lady clutching her purse. um, Just like, man, I don't have it, you know? But and then you move to sitting pretty. Like, I ain't got to clutch my coin because I know it's more to come. You see? He's just sitting there like, yeah, I'm making it. I'm secure in my money. It's sitting right there. It's going to keep multiplying. Okay? That's the shift, y'all. That's the shift. Catch a shift. Okay? I'm just saying. All right, y'all. I definitely feel like, yeah, balance, um, peace is going to be brought to this situation because I feel like you could definitely be very negative towards your current situation surrounded maybe your work or your money but y'all and and i say this i say this very lightly but there is there is more to life than money there is i know that i know that you still need money but um be start expressing gratitude for the other things that you have y'all and, and see Watch and see, but definitely get heavy on your manifest manifesting. Uh, I'm going to pull some prophecy cards, close out the reading, final messages for cancer spirit. So faith popping out. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. That's what's happening in this new shift. Okay. So don't, don't be, don't be afraid. Have trust that everything is as it is meant to be right now. So if you're still in this transformation, this tower moment where things are getting shaken up, y'all, like I said, this could come unexpectedly for someone where you just get pushed into, sometimes we got to get pushed out of situations to get pushed into another one. And it could be uncomfortable. It's it's coming to make you uncomfortable, so you'll move, right? See, yeah, and senses is here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're feeling, you're getting these senses, right? Um, trusting in your mind, body, and your soul. Like, that's why I say, y'all, you got you to gotta be in contact. You got to be, let's talk about it. I'm going to talk about it another day. But um, give me some... <laughs> Give me final messages for cancer. So we got forgive that came out. Um, and y'all, you do have to, so you can't be holding on. That's why I say you can't trust. I mean, you can't trick. You Your heart got to be pure. Your soul got to be pure. You can't have hatred or, or anything towards animosity or anything towards anything or anybody else, including yourself. Find the forgiveness in your heart. Release the pain and find peace as you clear the burdens that have restricted you. Because, yeah, someone could be holding on to something that's preventing their own blessing, right? Y'all, and when, when you look at it like that, like, mm -mm, it's not worth it. It's not. <laughs> okay? That's the, that's the difficulty that you're releasing here, too. It's like forgiving, forgiving the past, forgiving what has happened, and moving forward. Um, give me one final message. Ooh, I knew, I knew it was gonna sneak out here some kind of way. Love popped up, y'all. It is safe to feel a splendor of love. Let go of fear. This could be in a relationship for someone too. Um, and tell that special someone how you feel, Cancer. You, you may be needing to speak up about how you feel allow the truth of love to guide your heart and soul someone may have just experienced a loss in love though but cancer like i'm so i feel like i've seen the word manifest twenty thousand times this reading so definitely make sure that you're manifesting y'all look that's what i'm saying um i'm gonna pull one more vision we got vision that popped out guess what ended the reading gratitude Gratitude. Offer gratitude for all the blessings in your life. 
can't say it's a blessing to be right here with you right now. I'm expressing gratitude. I'm so thankful that you're here, that you're a part of the family. Um, so hopefully, you know, look, put let's put some positive energy out there so that cancer can manifest their manifestations can come to materialization. Put something down in the comments, y'all, that you're grateful for, something that you're trying to manifest. Just put the positive and leave it, okay? Um, spread joy and kindness to others through random acts of kindness. So, you know, hey, y'all, we family, remember? And so my family, you know, we be interacting. We be interacting. So talk to your fam in the, in the comments, y'all. Look into the mirror and express kindness to yourself. Yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself. Stop being so judgmental. Yeah, but there's some new knowledge that I feel like is definitely being open to you. It's like the tree of life knowledge that I'm feeling like in that card. <laughs> um, but vision came out and it says your strong intuition and healing energy helps others to find their strength. Use your natural abilities to heal, teach, and guide those needing direction. So definitely can say some of you could definitely have like some type of vision to be a spiritual mentor or be a spiritual teacher. It's like you have a different type of you're able to see things differently. You're being open to this wisdom old akashic records okay so you're being able to help you're you're having to be guided to to guide others if that makes sense this is exciting y'all because i feel like whatever this um travel is or whatever move that you've just made or will make is going to be very 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 significant and lucrative for you cancer so it's like get ready to take the next step Take it to the next level. I'm so excited. I'm going to leave it right here, though, you guys. I really, really do hope that it resonates with someone and you found it helpful. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'd love to have you a part of the fam. Um, but, yeah, in the meantime, in between time, until next time, love you.